Okay, take note, it's very important. Look at the information and look at the tail end. What is the total number? Don't just take a look at the vertical axis. Huh? So in this case, we are supposed to find the median and interquartile range for both school A and school B. Since there are 300 students, if I want to find the median, it will be half of the 300. So after that, take note, you need to read the revision time. So for school A, it seems like, as indicated in my graph, the median is 62, but for school B, it's 70. Later, we will make meaning out of these numbers. Huh? Next, interquartile range. Oh, teacher, interquartile range means for lower quartile is one quarter of 300. If not, it can be half of 150. So in this case, it's 75. So it seems that the lower quartile for school A is 50. For school B is 56. So I write it down. Why? Because for interquartile range, I have to use upper quartile to minus the lower quartile. Now let me go to my upper quartile. Oh, teacher, upper quartile can be 3 quarter of 300. Alright, so since the upper quartile, the population will be at 225. So this for upper quartile. For school A, I have 68. And then for school B, I have 79. So let me put it in as well. So take note. Whenever it comes to interquartile range, I would like everyone to show your working in full. So telling me, oh, it's the upper quartile minus the lower quartile to get your answer for the interquartile range because it's usually worth two marks. So take note, in any set of statistic data, sometimes we need to do a little bit of explanation. So we always go back to either average or consistency so it's quite clear cut some of you can tell me oh teacher in part three i look at the average in part four i look at the consistency like what i summarize with you oh teacher in this data if i were to look at the average i need to see the median if i will look at the consistency i need to see the interquartile range all right so I think you can tell me by now, oh, teacher, if I were to compare the median for school A and school B, it's very clear cut. School B, the revision time is slightly longer. But what is the reason? So now I need to write the reason. Why? The median of B is higher than A. Okay, you are right. So in the second part, I want to look at the interquartile range. So if I look at the interquartile range, I want it to be small. The smaller, the better. You are closer to one another. All right. So in this case, school A. Why? The interquartile range of A is less than or smaller than B.